movement around the hospital and the mobility of the cordless handheld units that to me has the biggest uh, advantage with the cordless handhelds over the other units. I'm Dr. Cern Voison. I am a small animal emergency and critical care specialist working at the University of Calgary Faculty of Veterinary Medicine. I am a full professor with the faculty here in Calgary. Look at that. Now, oh, freeze! Image. Those voice controls to me are uh, a really, really useful feature. They're actually more useful than I expected them to be. Rick, I don't have to put the needle down, I don't put the probe down, I just gotta tell the uh, actual iPad to make that adjustment for me. So I gotta say, I think these uh, voice controls, I think it's something that uh, will be adapted by a lot of other technology when it comes to uh, point of care off sound because it is such a useful feature. I can just speak to it, which makes a huge difference. And again, I can hold my patient and scan and put out my voice controls, my voice commands right away, and there we go. I get everything I need to do done right away, which is really good. I'm Serge, uh, full name is Serge Lou, born and raised in Montreal, Quebec, and did my DVM there, followed by an internship at the University of Montreal as well. Worked as an ER doctor for two years, then an internal medicine residency at the Animal Medical Center in New York, and then I've been at the University of Calgary Faculty of Veterinary Medicine for the last 11 years, now reaching the rank of tenured associate professor of teaching. Often I will take our Clarius unit into an exam room with an owner and be able to show them what we found, which has been brilliant because of about a lot of owners who tell them, well, your dog has abdominal effusion or fluid in the abdomen and that doesn't quite register. So I can actually do a live demo for them or take the iPad of the images that we took of the cine loops as well. So it's actually quite practical and very quick as well for teaching, but also for diagnostic purposes when we're either in the exam room or in our treatment areas Therefore, we can use it really quickly and not have to bring, you know, one of those laptop units over to us, right? The machines are usually with us, sometimes even in our back pockets. For me, the biggest thing is you don't have this long wire that's dangling everywhere that can get caught under the wheels of those laptop machines that you have to wheel everywhere. It also makes it easier to hand off the unit to a colleague, scan the other side of the patient, scan one side, the other side, etc. You don't have to worry about dangling the wire around, getting caught in the patient, so that makes it a lot easier. Their interface with the touch screens in terms of changing the gain and the depth and being able to use the presets is super simple. So I would say it's easier to learn with the interface on an iPad than it is on some of the console units. Compared to a lot of the laptop machines or even one of those bigger units, you know, there's a big learning curve for a lot of those machines. You know, there's about 30 or 40 different buttons on there, and a lot of buttons have different functions on them that you have to press to change the function. So it can be quite intimidating, especially for those who are just starting out, or for us when we're using point of care ultrasound, we only care about most of the time gain and depth, gain and depth. So again, it makes it much more intuitive when it comes to the Clarius, for instance. In terms of image quality, I think the handhelds are quite nice. I never have a question of being like, oh, am I not being able to answer a question that I'm trying to point a care ultrasound? Has never happened. Looking at the heart, the abdomen, and the floor space and lungs, I don't find there's a big difference in the uh, units when I have to answer those questions. I can answer them with both handheld and with compact with a great deal of confidence. 